Welcome to Hello Experts, where we embark on a journey of discovery and exploration into the future of transportation. Today, we are diving into the groundbreaking Kesara God Semi High Speed Rail project, also known as the Silver Line. Join us as we unravel the innovations and developments that promise to reshape the way we travel. So, let's dive in. The proposed Silver Line is an advanced rail project in India designed to link Thiruvananthapuram and Kasaragod in the state of Kerala. With an operational speed of 200 km per hour, allowing for a maximum design speed of 220 km per hour, the rail line aims to significantly reduce travel time between the two cities, covering 532 km distance in under 4 hours. The stations along this corridor include Thiruvananthapuram, Kotayam, Kochi, Trishu, Tirore, Kanur, and Kasaragod. Managed by K Rail, a joint venture between the Ministry of Railways and the Government of Kerala, the project is temporarily on hold pending approval from the central government. The railway's objective include elevating transportation congestion, enhancing travel efficiency, and addressing environmental concerns. Additionally, the initiative features a roll-on, roll-off train service for road vehicles and improved feeder public transport services from various stations. Silver Line will bring remarkable changes in local commute by improving the travel time and quality of transportation. Every kilometre travelled by a person on semi-high speed rail is a kilometre not travelled in an automobile. There will be a substantial reduction in road accidents due to the decongestion on the roads. Silver Line also provides last mile connectivity which will transform people's perception towards public transportation. Despite being a slender state with a population of only 3.45 crores, Kerala is commonly segmented into southern, central and northern regions. As the road expansion remains stagnant, around 1 million new vehicles join Kerala's road each year. Given the traffic capacity served by rail corridors and the relatively low resources needed for the rail projects, a rail corridor linking the north and the south ends of Kerala appears to be an ideal solution for the state. Here are some important facts, benefits and amenities related to the Silver Line. Now we will discuss the facts first and then the benefits and amenities. The project will cover 11 districts through 11 stations and will be 529.45 km long with an operating speed of 200 km per hour and a maximum design speed of 220 km per hour. The project is estimated to cost around 63,940 crore and is being executed by the Kerala Rail Development Corporation Limited, a joint venture of the Government of Kerala and the Ministry of Railways of Government of India, set up to augment railway infrastructure within Kerala. The project has faced some controversies and some experts have raised concerns about its economic viability and environmental impact. Now we will have a look on the benefits of this project. The project is expected to offer tremendous employment opportunities in the state both during and after the construction phase. The project will bring enormous economic benefits and community amenities to the state by providing new access to the shoppers, commuters, tourists and other travelers. A projected reduction of about 287,994 tons of carbon dioxide by 2030 and 594,636 tons by 2050. Complete elimination of fossil fuels in operational processes, enhancement of air quality and mitigation of greenhouse gas emissions. According to the KRDCL website, the project will provide special facilities for differently abled passengers including extra wide gates, wheelchair docking facilities in every coach, tactile baths and exclusively friendly toilets. The detailed project report for the Silver Line project also mentions that the passenger amenities such as displays, announcement systems, Wi-Fi and entertainment systems are proposed in the rolling stock. Ergonomically designed interiors with ample leg space for the passenger comfort, LED lighting, overhead luggage racks, power outlets for the laptop mobile charging and modernized toilets. The project began in 2017 and is expected to be completed by 2028. That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.